Okay, guys, and in this part, I'd like to show you how to remove tape transport. So everything I, I've checked it. I had to disconnect these two connectors uh, from these uh, sockets here and here. I removed two like, uh, flat cables, which goes to the tape transport, and pull up two screws, one here, one here, and two on the other side, here and here, to be able to pull up the power supply and control board. And now I would be able to pull this tape transport on the back because it just cannot go to the front. Okay, probably I need two hands to do this carefully. So, but you get the idea. I hope this will help you with your research. In this case, we, we don't need to remove the front panel. In other case, we would need to remove front panel to take temp transport to the front. Why? Well, let me try it, and if it works, I will let you know. Okay, and here is what I did on account for uh, that both playback, uh, that record, and uh, arise hat are wired. So, and playback here. You see, so they are soldered. I will have to carefully unsolder this to be able to remove it completely. So you see, just these two connectors goes to the tape transfers, other two goes to the front panel with the buttons, the flat cables. Hi. Right. Let me unsolder and see you there. Hey guys, and as I tell you, this is exactly the same tape transport as we've seen in the Nakamichi decks. So it's Sankyo tape transport. I see there is a like, um, supply side resistance belt. Here is a belt between two capstan motors. So just the difference in DR2, we have like a regular motor and like this, like similar to BX300 Nakamichi, it has a direct drive motor. That's all the difference. So I will just like remove the motor, like uh, reloop everything, put new belt here from this side, check that all switches work with like a multimeter that's in different positions they are. Well, probably I will still deoxidize them for the better use. And from this side, I will open this cover, clean up everything, replace pinch rollers, and replace this belt. That's everything. There's just two belts in this tape transport. And oh, we need to replace idler. You see, this one has idler, and that's what I would need to order. Everything else, I believe, is in good shape. Uh, more modern uh, versions of this state transport has the gears here for the reels. I believe mine, the Kamishi DR2 has gears because I didn't replace either as an older version. Okay, let me see the heads. The dirty. Show some sign of wear. I'm not sure how much. Hope not too bad. Because it came, I believe, from US house. And these decks are uh, used usually less than Japanese decks, but I have seen like a US decks worn either when the gap was open on the head. Oh, yeah. Let me work on it. You may recap a video I have with uh, Nakamichi DR2 tape transfer to build. And I have, a be I, I believe I, I did a DR1 video and another DR2. So you should be aware how to work with it. It's exactly the same tape transport. No, no differences. Hi, see you. Probably will replace those electrolytic capacitor on this board just to make sure it will last longer. See you, I guess. 
And here we may see the motor itself. It looks pretty simplistic. Just four coils, two hole sensors. Here is a small capacitor. This is film capacitor and one microchip. And I had to unsolder FG coil right here from the board to be able to pull it up. Pretty simple to work on. And here we have just remove capstan. So what I mentioned, if on the supply side capstan we have a low friction spacer, on the take up side we don't. And you see how this capstan is formed with all those teeth, and we have exactly not exactly but pretty similar FG coil as on. Nakamichi Dragon. Same principles. The stance with bearings a little bit different. So you see this stance holds this base. You see those like hammered parts. So I believe replacing these bearings is not possible. Why? Now we you know, let me clean up everything, get new belt, uh, oil, and assemble this part back. And I will go to the front piece. See you soon. Okay guys, here I put new belt. Uh, I lubricated the bearings. I put lubricant to the backside shoes, maybe. And I replaced the capacitor with a new small one, same size. Now I would be able to assemble it back. See you soon. Okay, I assembled it back, connected FG coil, everything runs, capstans rotate long. Right? What I don't like, that's where the savings come. You see, the shift is about two millimeters for the supply side capstan. So this will be held by belt in this position, I believe. But that's it. My. But that's the savings come from like 1990s. The only on the very expensive deck has those like adjustments. This deck doesn't have any adjustments for that. Oi. Let me disassemble front part. I will replace pinch rollers, belt on the front side, and clean everything up. See you soon. Hey guys, and I'm replacing pinch rollers. So what I mentioned is a quite interesting solution to adjust the height of the left pinch roller. You see this teeny, teeny screw? So that's the solution. So they put this part here. Uh, then uh, we fix it with a ring and then like this tiny screw adjust in the like, very small position the height of the left guide and you see here the regular heads installed comparing to Nakamichi and also I mentioned that this left uh, part this roller is, is different. On Nakamichi there is like a lever uh, which gets into the tooth of this uh, corresponding part and like when we engage in the play mode it stops uh, one part and there is just friction uh, which uh, makes this 10 gram uh, tension on the supply side. Here it just belt so I don't feel too much it's maybe four or five grams maximum friction. What else? I don't see brakes, you see? Again, like uh, no brakes, reels are go free. That's probably not the best solution. This is just head part. Uh, 
And here is the bulb, install it just like that. I need to order this idler. This one is plasterized. Moving on, cleaning, replacing, lubricating, make sure everything will work. See you in the next part. Bye bye. Again, here is how assembled parts should work. So, as you see, there is just spring which pushes it back. Here is this lever. You see, this is open button. And when we put a heads up, it would not allow us to press open button here. It will just get locked into this position. Here is how you need to assemble this. Take a look. And it holds, goes pretty easy and soft. Here we have a ball from the top. And here we have balls from the bottom. So that's how the head base is, is going. Like it has, I believe, three balls on the bottom and one ball on the top. That's why it will hold always the same position, the carriage head will always get to the tape in the same position and it's very easy to operate to see balls rolling and everything moving okay let me just apply a new lubricant to the balls and i believe the only last piece would be either everything else is replaced and i have to clean up heads so they're still quite too dirty Bye. See you. Bye. Okay, guys, next step, as I told, I deoxidized the switches, and now I'm verifying with my gauge how tape pass works. You see, it gets just like with zero friction here. I clean up the head, so and here we get with zero friction to the head. You see. So, that's good, we can pull up the heads, but I don't think it will change much, so let me see, yeah, here, you see it still gets pretty easy, no problem at all, and here, very nice. Okay, this part works. I'm ordering tighter tire. What else I like to show you? Like it's how interesting it has been done to connect the bearings base. So you see, it just screw it with this nut uh, to the tape transport mainframe, and uh, here as well. And from the back, as we've seen. The back panel. Come on. This panel is just like uh, mechanically connected, so no any nuts, nothing. Hi. Right. So one switch, three here, and one here. So this is record. This I believe. Uh, tape sensor. This is record protection and this is uh, mod switches. So it's with this gear is defines in what position tape transfer is currently. Okay, I just ordered the idler tire. So we'll wait a couple of days when we come and then we'll assemble everything back. See you in the next parts. Bye bye.